Today we're looking at Rope to the final, Lucas Moura. He is 88 rated, medium, medium, 5 foot 9, 4 star, 4 star. You can play right mid or right wing. You can see here he has got really good agility and balance and composure. Quite good short pass. Fantastic shot power and finishing as well as acceleration and sprint speed. Good headering accuracy. Not the best stamina. We'll see if that's a problem today. There is a tracker, but it's a bit bugged at the minute. The tracker will let you know if they're going to win or not. Then we have traits. We have flair, team player, and nothing else. Gone for a dead eye today, and we'll talk about chem styles, pricing, what I thought about the card, and much more. The end of the review on Footbin. But that being said, let's go jump into some good behavior from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Night, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are playing in Foot Champs, and here is our opponent's team for today. We're going to be playing in our 4 triple two system, and Lucas Mora is going to be on that right-hand side on the wing. His main job today is to get in between the lines. If he has a chance to get him through on goal, of course, we're going to try to take it. More or less, though, I want to feel what he feels like in dribbling. It Can he finish with a dead eye on as well because we wanted to boost that up? And basically how he gets on in that position, that's going to be the most important thing for us today. So we get Zambro here. This is the role. He's going to try to play a ball in just like that. And then we've got an option to go up top or down below. We're going to use him as a dummy run. Find Lucas here. Use that pace. Bit of skill we can. Very unlucky. He managed to use that strength to hold off. Again, holding that ball. He's trying to get used to his body type. It feels a, bit, a little bit slow on the ball. Good pass in. Uh, shot off, and we get us as a corner. So you can see there, that is the role we're going to be using him in. We'll have a look at his set pieces to see if he's any good at them. So Lucas Mora is okay. Not awful. Definitely not the best. We're going to bring someone over and then try and get him on the edge of the box if we can. It's a bad touch. We managed to keep hold of it. Bit of phantom glide past one. Couldn't quite get through the bodies there. So, so far, a couple of things I've noticed with Mora is, in terms of going into full speed, he's a little bit slow. Right, counter-attack. Got Mora in behind. Can we find him? Not quite. One more. We can this time. Good ball in. Lovely ball into Haaland. Can he win it? He can't, unfortunately. But you can see there, the link-up play was much better from him there. Got Mora here. Lovely pass into the space. Got the overlap here. All from Luka Mora's pass in. Going to fight back to him. Back to Alvarez, take a shot, and we've gone wide. So unlucky. Good link up play there from Lucas Mora. We're struggling to get in the game a little bit. Our opponent is very, very good. Mora picks the ball up. Lovely little pass out. Got the angle now. Trying to find our space. Got Alvarez there. Good pass in. Waiting for the overlap from him if we can find him. He hasn't really made the run. But we've got him there. Get a cross in. It's a good ball. And a what a save from the keeper. Mora takes a shot and again another great save from the goalkeeper. So very, very unlucky not to get a goal or assist there. But we are now starting to get that space in behind. So far, I was hoping he'd feel a little bit quicker if I were to be honest. He does feel a little bit slow. And I don't know if that's because of the dead eye. I was hoping it wouldn't make a difference because of the acceleration sprints counter attack. Lucas Mora straight away into that pass. Lovely dribble. Got him down wide. I think he's just on side. Mora in behind. Good shot and what a finish. That is a massive goal. We needed that. We have managed to get him into the game. He is so good out wide. I was thinking maybe he could play him up front, but I don't think that's going to be the case. He's definitely going to be an out wide player as we did intercept there. And that was a really good finish. I actually did try to green time it, but messed up the shot, but we still got it in. And that's what's important. The goal has definitely been coming or a goal contribution. We're knocking on the door quite a lot, and we've managed to finish that chance. Far more in between the lines. Shot across goal, and there it is, the second goal. That was a really nice little one-two play. Waiting for Mora to get on last man, playing that through ball, shooting across goal, and we are finally starting to notice the benefits from having a dead eye on him. Really, really good so far. He was a little bit difficult to use. I think the gameplay is a little bit heavy at the moment because the content's only just come out as reviewing him, and a lot of people are playing champs as well, of course. So this is actually a really good start on the ball. And that is half time there. So a really, really good performance so far. Took a little bit of time to get into the game, but we are now starting to flourish. We have had a couple opportunities of Mora on this right-hand side, as you can see. And he has been offering us a lot. I will say he's a little bit weak, as to be expected. And I was hoping he was a little bit quicker. But like I've already mentioned, it could be down to bad gameplay at the time. as our... And it's not going to happen today, buddy. Right, let's go. Counter-attack. Lucas Mora already driving into that space for us. Find him here. Lovely link up. Waiting for the overlap. Can we get it to him? We can out wide. Mora driving. No one to help him. Megan, use that left stick dribbling if we can. Oh, see ya. One more. Good tackle, unfortunately. It's going to be a corner. But you can see there that when he's in behind, he's very, very quick. He's just trying to get him there behind is the difficult part. Let's get ourselves Mora here. Bit of skill to get past one. 
Trying to drive past another one. Still going, Mora. Ball roll in. Ah, oh, it's a good tackle there from Brolin, unfortunately. And then you can see here, look at his pace. Just can't quite keep up with uh, Brolin there, which is a bit weird to see. Lovely pass in to Lucas, who finds Zla Haaland there. And what a pass. I forgot all the players' names and now I was concentrating so hard. This has been a really, really tough game. Two goals and an assist there for Lucas Mora, which has been fantastic. And I'm probably trying this kickoff, but it's going to do a Mora peeling off. It's going to be a hard pass. We find him. We can. Got Harlan running through. Can we find him again? Lovely link up play. Ah, oh, I couldn't play Luca Mora through one more time, but that sort of hold up play you can do as well. Play try to do player locks now. Right, let's go. Counter attack straight out to Lucas Mora. Can we play that through ball. We can. Lovely pass. We go out wide, reset the attack, not a problem. We don't have to rush, we have got the lead. So we have got ourselves more through here. Can we use that pace? Unfortunately, can't. And this is what I was saying about his explosiveness there at times. Not the greatest, which is a bit disappointing how high his acceleration sprint speed is. And that is going to go into extra time now. So let's see if we can carry on with Lucas Mora. Like I was saying, in terms of clinicalness, passing and shooting is fantastic. He is very, very weak at times. And his stamina, as you can see here, is a bit lower than everybody else. We are going to make some changes up front now, try and get some pace on if we can. And it's been a really, really good performance from him so far. I've been very, very impressed. Kind of hoping he can continue that on into this extra time. We do need him now more than ever. So let's carry on with this second half of extra time. So here we go then, underway in extra time. More on the ball. We've got a couple minutes left, seconds left of the game. More using that dribble. Oh, what a tackle. And that's going to be the game. A good win in the end. Really, really tough game. I noticed near the end game, Mora was very, very tired. And that's something to be very, very cautious of. That is for sure. Something to think about. But let's go jump onto Footbin now. So we are on Footbin. It's about 254,000. The reason why I think he's the cheap as he is is because AC Milan are currently winning at the moment. So how it works is if they go through to the next round, it's a plus one. If they go through the round after that, it's another plus one. If they get to the quarterfinals, it's a plus three on traits and an inform upgrade. If they make it to the semifinals, it's a five-star weak foot. And if they make it a win to the final, it's a five-star skill moves as well. I might have got some of them slightly mixed up. But that's basically how it works. Went for a dead eye. And that's really to maximize his finishing and his shot power. And you can see here in terms of votes, that's one of the most popular ones to go for. I did was I was a little bit disappointed with the acceleration and sprint speed. I can't lie. Very, very disappointed in that. Because he has a unique body type. And having this really high agility and balance, his less stick dribbling is so responsive. His passing is fantastic. His shooting was good enough. You saw they got two goals in a very, very hard foot champs game. But his stamina did come into play right near the end. Even though he's 83, I'll be wearing extra time, and I understand that. He's still a bit lacking at times, which is a bit frustrating. His strength is a big red flag as well. If anyone gets close to him, he kind of loses that battle 9 out of 10 times. But as a super sub, or definitely starting for the first 70 to 80 minutes in a full game, he is going to be absolutely ridiculous for you. If Tottenham do manage to turn it around and beat AC Milan in the second leg... He will get an upgrade. We're making him better. And obviously every upgrade we get is going to be better on the road. But it depends on the price. If they lose or they go 1-0 down, he's going to crash. If they go 1-0 up, he's going to start to rise. So the prices are really hard to predict. If you have any more questions about this card, comment down below. There's not much more I can cover. I kind of think I covered everything. I think you can play up front if you need him to. But he's definitely better outside on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. Didn't notice any problem with his weak foot. and just thought it was a really good card overall. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See you.